Now, in this quick short video, we will be connecting our lake house using SQL Server Management Studio. This is my lake house. This is the lake house explorer. This is the SQL endpoint. As you can see, we have a couple of tables. We will be connecting this particular lake house from SQL Server Management Studio. You go to the settings for the SQL endpoint and you copy the SQL connection string. Once copied, open your SQL Server Management Studio. The server type is database engine. The server name is the one you copied from, uh, you know, the Power BI uh, Fabric SQL endpoint for the lake house. Paste that and you will be using Azure Active Directory with multiple factor authentication. So select that authentication. AAD with universal MFA use your company account the email address the you know Azure Active Directory uh, email address and that's it it has connected to the SQL endpoint which is a read only endpoint as you can see the name is quite long because of that's Kind of an identifier and if you see the extension it is data warehouse dot pbi dedicated so it is specific for this uh, sql endpoint i was curious to see whether the lake house and the warehouse in the fabric connect to the same sql server so i tried to get the sql endpoint for my warehouse not the sql endpoint but the you know the warehouse endpoint and this this is the lake house and that's my sql endpoint for the lake house let's just compare the connection string for the warehouse and the sql endpoint So let's copy the connection string. This is for the warehouse. Let me copy, paste it into a notepad for further comparison. I'll do the same for the SQL endpoint for the lake house. I wanted to know what's happening at the hindsight behind the scenes and if you see both are the same so apparently the sql server that is being used should have both the lake house and the data warehouse so when i've connected i can see both my lake house as well as my data warehouse from sql server management studio i can see all my tables for the lake house which is read only and for the data warehouse as well which is read and write. Let me do a quick query and that's it. That's how you connect to your lake house or your data warehouse from SQL Server Management Studio. I'm sure this will help all the data enthusiasts who have been using SQL Server Management Studio for a long, long time now. I hope this video is helpful do like and subscribe to this channel thank you so much keep supporting